Today I'm going to be doing a My Favorite Things January-February edition. So really it's February, it's at the end of Feb February 21st right now. So I'm going to be showing you the things that I've gotten recently that I really enjoyed. There's things that I've gotten within the last couple months that, you know, maybe I didn't enjoy so much, but I'm gonna be showing you the things that I got that ended up being winners. And my baby is beside me. Oh, he's also in a Halloween jumper right now. <laughs> it still fits. I mean, if it fits and it's an old navy one, I love the old navy onesies. They're great. So if it still fits, we're still gonna put them in it. Why waste a good onesie? My sister bought that for us and uh, it's been a winner. I'm gonna detail a few of the things that I've gotten this month that were great and that I'm super happy with. And I'll link down below anything that you can purchase. I'll do Canadian and American links. First things first, and a lot, some of these things I got suggested to by friends, especially Moon. Moon. So some of these things I got um, suggestions from friends, especially skincare. I have been having trouble with skincare. I have really sensitive skin, and I've been noticing my, dry, my skin has been really dry lately, and I'm not too sure which skincare products to try out, what's good, what's bad, what's ugly, what will work for my skin. And this was a recommendation from my friend Chrissy, is the Vichy, I mean, she suggested buying Vichy in general. So it's V-I-C-H-Y, Mineral, Mineral 89. It's a 72 hour, I mean, Okay, I put this on every day. 72 hour moisture boosting cream. Does that mean you're only supposed to put it on every three days? Or like you're good? Cause you're not good, to be honest. Like I do put this on morning and night. I don't just, Moon. No kissies. Moon just loves to kiss and we have to, we have to temper the kissies, okay? So it has the hyaluronic acid in it, which I assume is what gives you that moisture boost. Now I have heard and read that hyaluronic acid is kind of like a topper. It doesn't give you a moisture looking skin, a moisture looking skin. Let's say a uh, non dry looking skin long term, but it does look nice when you put it on. Like I have it on today and it, it's fantastic, it's so lightweight. I find some moisturizers can be greasy, thick, they're just not for me. And this has been so lightweight, I've been really happy with it. The only thing is, I think, like I bought this two weeks ago, I think I'm gonna be going through it like once a month, because you don't get a lot. And the price point is around $50, so it's a bit of a, there's money involved here. Now the second thing, and right now I only have a sampler. This is from my friend Carolyn who gave me some samples. Thank you, Carolyn. It's the Hyalu, Hyalu B5 Serum Anti-Wrinkle Concentrate Repairing Replumping Serum. So I really, this is from La Roche Posay. I really like this. I actually have had this in the full size before and completely gone through it. And it does also make you feel that nice moisturized skin feel and you put this on. Do you put serums on before or after your moisturizer? I know there is there, there is a rule, but do I know that rule? I don't put them on at the same time. I think I do put the Hylou on before the moisture boosting cream um, but i don't like i'll wait honestly sometimes i'll wait a couple hours because i'm on mat leave <laughs> and if i was going to work and i didn't have any time i would put one on then the other on or i would probably just do one at night um instead of all that admin now what else did i get this month you may have seen in the previous blog i got the nyx brow tint pen in taupe the lift and snatch and I got the thicket stick it brow gel these are winners 
I in taupe as well. I love these. I previously was just messing around with Anastasia Beverly Hills. I was trying Benefit Brow Gel. Benefit Brow Gel was kind of a bust for me. I don't know why. I think it's maybe because the wand is so small and it packs on a lot of formula on there. And it was just, it was too hard to get, you know, like fluffy looking brows in there. You, it got too much stuff on there. And you would think a smaller spoolie for small brows would be good, but I prefer, I'll show you the larger brow. There we go. I prefer the bigger spoolie, but I do wipe off some of the gel before I put stick it on there because it will be too much. Um, and then after I go in with the pen and I just do some like wispy little things just to add that in there or fill in anything that this one didn't. So these are winners. I'm going to be using this long term. Like I love this now. And that was another recommendation from a friend. These were also recommendations from my friend Megan. Lush does the massage bars. And I've been having muscle pain because my thyroid has been out of whack. It was overactive and I lost 40 pounds. Now it's underactive and I'm gaining more weight. But one of the symptoms of your thyroid being kind of out of whack is muscle pain. And these magnesium bars have been lifesavers. I like, well, sometimes I've been putting them on all day, like on a particularly bad day. I, I just, they're, you put them in the fridge and they're just nice and ice cold. And one has a minty scent, that's the after bar. And the other one is a chamomile one. And they're both magnesium. Uh, I forget the name, but I'll put it down below and I'll link it, of course. And they're just fantastic. This is my second one of these. And you just rub them on your muscles and you get that nice, cooling feeling especially the one the after one with the peppermint and just a nice magnesium feeling on your it's magnesium is like what they put in epsom salt so if you've had that epsom salt bath type feeling or it's not what they put in epsom salt it's it, it is what is epsom salt like a certain type of magnesium it just it makes your muscles feel so nice so that's been really helpful another lush product that i've been loving is the twilight sleepy body spray i'm not actually a huge fan of the packaging i find it a little home depot but i do really like the scent oh it looks like mauricio packaged this one for me thank you mauricio it smells okay i would describe don't judge it by the scent that it first emits because when you first spray it it smells a little tree sap it smells a little i'm in the woods but after wearing it once it warms up on your skin you you do smell I mean, you smell earthy, for sure. It's a bit of a hippie body spray. I think I'm starting to believe in aromatherapy. Like I Googled aromatherapy. It seems like people, they're like, aromatherapy isn't real. Like it's not real therapy. Like, no, it's not therapy. It's not gonna cure me of anything. But I think aromatherapy actually used to have like those connotations. I find it makes me feel good. Like certain scents make me feel good they lift my mood. And so I've been, I think I'm becoming a fragrance girly and this is starting this journey for me, some body spray from Lush. And I was following, um, her name is Lauren Louise. Lauren Louise, she's this Manitoban TikToker, YouTuber, content creator, art student. And she was talking about, she uses all kinds of fragrances and she was talking about this fragrance called it's from Universal Flowering and it's called Fig Leaf. And it's apparently fantastic. And I'll put up a picture here. It's got this cute like 80s packaging, which I really like. And it also comes in a fragrance pen. Now I ordered the fragrance pen. I'm still waiting on it. I think it's a bit of a smaller company. So I'm not like counting my breath for it to be here in Amazon time, but this is one of my 
things that I'm going to be trying, which I hope becomes a favorite and see like, okay, do I love this? But yeah, I think I'm getting into fragrance. It's exciting. It's like a new avenue for me. Ooh. I've also noticed in my vlogs, I say so a lot. You might not notice because I often cut out the word so, but I just, I'm a so person, I suppose. I suppose I say so a lot. So I, I've been cutting them out because I'm so annoyed at me going, so. <laughs> so, I'll keep that one in. What's next? I have thrifted a few things over the last couple days and I'm really happy with them. What started this thrifting idea, this thrifting journey, this thrifting episode was because I was putting my makeup in the powder room because I'm often down here with my son and he's fighting his nap right now. So that's why we're, we're awake and we're doing this because someone doesn't want to sleep work now. So he's just chilling and it's bouncing, listening to mommy. Yammer on. <laughs> my makeup was in the powder room and I was just you know, powder rooms are usually small and I was putting it on the side of the counter and my husband would just be knocking them over into the sink constantly and he was like, I don't think it's a good spot for this stuff. And I was like, okay, I need to find a jar or cup or something. I was like, maybe I'll go thrifting and I'll find a cute little jar to put my makeup in. And I love this little jar that I got for a dollar at Valley Village. It's kind of like a beaker or maybe it's meant to pour milk or something like that, but it is adorable. A dollar. How great is that? Look at that. And I could just put my makeup in it and ta-da. And it looks chic. What else did I thrift though? I of course had to get other things while I was at the thrift store. So I thrifted these adorable little coffee mugs. I'm using one right now. $2.99 for the set. Very happy with these. Adorable. And then, still on the coffee theme, I thrifted a coffee box. Look, at, look how adorable this is. And it says Cafe Coffee on it. How adorable is that? Now, I thrifted it not for coffee, but for tea to put my British teas in. My Yorkshire breakfast brews. Um, I also thrifted this top. So I love this top, it's from Kenzo Paris. And I don't know if you can see, it's got like these cute little pockets and it's like this oversized and you can tuck the front into trousers and be really cute. And Kenzo items usually go for like 500 to $2,000 and I thrifted it for $7.99. So we're happy. I'm very happy with this purchase. Someone has the hiccups. So two techie things that I got this month. One is this tripod, the hair on it. My husband had a tripod that was, you know, like the traditional tripods that are like three-legged. I mean, a tripod. It was kind of, a, it was very expensive, very nice, but a pain in the butt because it had so many adjustments. Like you could put one leg, like three quarters of the way up and the other leg, like this many up. And, and it was just huge and just kind of a pain in the butt every time you wanted to use it. And I was researching tripods and this one just goes up and down. That's perfect. That's so easy and it works great. And I don't know the brand, oh, Yukos but I will link it down below and it was not expensive. It was under $40, maybe even under $30. Would recommend for cameras. I don't have a big camera. I use the Osmo Pocket 3, which is a fantastic vlogging camera. And I'll link that down below too. It is a little bit pricey, but I see other vloggers using these massive Sony ZE-1 or Z ZE cameras and they're quite large. They're like the, the, the large cameras and they're fairly obvious when you're going outside and vlogging with them. And like if you're in a store or whatever, you know, people can be looking at you and seeing 
like, okay, obviously this person's a vlogger. And sometimes that can be a little, a little embarrassing or like you're shy about it. And the, my camera is so discreet and it's so small. I'll show a picture above. Here's what the Osmo looks like. And it's the number three, which is a new line. And it, it's fantastic. I would highly recommend it. And I'm so glad that I got this camera for my vlogging experience. Um, I could have gone with the Sony Zeddy vlogging camera, but I knew that I'd probably be a little bit shy taking the camera out. And this one's a little less obvious. People have no idea what the heck this camera is because it doesn't look like a camera. So thanks for watching these. How many things did I recommend here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So about 12 things, 12 things I recommend from February and January. I might do another one next month or the month after of my favorite things of this month. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next week.